if I put a grandma in against Jorge Masvidal, she would have lasted longer than this guy. The fight clock is brought to you by Modell. You know, he kind of came up in his brother's shadow. He was trying to fill his brother's footsteps. You know, his brother is a lot more talented, has a larger following. It's like com calling Kylie Jenner, Kendall Jenner. Like, I don't know anything about them. Because Dylan won't sign a contract. Uh, 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 well, I'm trying uh, to wait for you to stop talking. Okay. Uh, uh, so anyways, like, this is typical boy behavior, but obviously sometimes the This is the fucking fight the game. Person. This is the fucking fight game, you, you pussy-ass bitch. This is the fucking fight game. Yeah, I'll bully you around just like I'm going to bully you in the ring. Shut the fuck up. You sound like a middle schooler. Oh, he's bullying me. Shut the fuck up. After my Nate Robinson fight, there was probably 70 people calling me out, wanting to fight me. When it, con when it came to signing the contract, a lot of them didn't want to do it. And by the way, this is me coming to them with the biggest payday of their lives. This is Ben's biggest payday, payday of his life. It came down to signing the, the contract. He was actually down. So that, that, that's how it happened. Jake thinks he's a high-level boxer. I think he's fairly delusional. I guess we'll find out. You, you, you will find out very quickly and in a violent fashion. The other side of the coin, if you get through Jake Paul, what's next in your boxing career? Do you go for the big brother Logan Paul? Yeah, I, I mean, 2021 seems like a tremendous year to beat up the whole Paul family. And you, you think for one moment I'm going to sit there and fumble this? You think for one moment I'm not going to work my bloody balls off to beat this bum? This Walmart looking head ass Napoleon Dynamite motherfucker. The sport, I want to bring more eyeballs to it. I love, I love everything to do with it. You know, I could see myself coaching my son one day. Someone's gonna let you have kids? It's, it's your dad calling in, look. That dude's still alive? Man. He's still alive, bro. I'm about yeah, to take him out. Man. Hey, he's still alive. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna finish hey, him off. Man. Yeah, don't worry. Tell him I like them flip flops, man. <laughs> he he said he likes your flip flops. Yeah, this isn't it doesn't like haunt you at all. That like that's probably the most me, embarrassing Jake. fighter in UFC history. Jake, I know you have low self esteem, but you yep. don't need to project it onto me. Is it, this so this clip doesn't bother you? you I've always seen it like a million times. <laughs> doesn't bother me. Boxing, but at the end of the day, again, Logan is a real fighter who who would whoop on a lot of a lot of guys. Who's better, you or him, in boxing? Me, hands down. That's why I'm 3-0, three, oh, three KOs. He's 0-1-1. Oh, one one. Yeah. He ever whoop your ass when you were the little brother? Okay. So I'll take that as he rubbed your face in the carpet on a weekly basis. Let's go! Get the fuck back here. Come on. Big ass belly. Big ass belly. Do you, I guess what I'm trying to parlay into here is what do you think the chances are that you get knocked out oh, by Logan Paul's brother? Highly unlikely. I mean, I've, I've never, besides the George knee, I've never been rocked in a fight or in practice. So in actuality, this is like the most attractive boxing event that you can get mm -hmm. because it, you, it's unpredictable. Facts. It's like when you watch a regular fight, you know, okay, this guy, he does this, he does this. This yeah. fight right here is so fucking unpredictable. It's like a fucking video game. I'm like anxious to play with both of y'all in the game to see what fucking <laughs> attributes y'all got. This is two different styles. You got an MMA style and you got a boxing style. You got somebody who's used to being in the octagon, somebody who's getting familiar with the ring. Listen, let's be honest. Jake Paul isn't a fucking boxer. This guy's a fucking but YouTube kid. Well, gonna bring I went up there and I watched. You working hard? Yeah. Now, well, let me say. tell you what. I hope you can bet on this thing, because I'll, I'll fucking, I'll bet a million dollars. Oh, here we that go. That he loses this fucking fight. Dana White. Whoa. Bet a million dollars <laughs> that he loses this fight. Dana White jumped in on your behalf and said, he going to knock Jake the fuck out, and I got a million on it. And that kind of, like, rubbed us the wrong way. Like, hold really? on. Yeah, it did, because... I thought you and Daniel were cool. We very cool, but he know when it's time to bet. There's something about that that just makes me want to go in my pocket and try to answer the call. So I, I've been watching him fight. I've been watching you fight in the MMA. So I said, you know what? I'm going to roll with Jake. I'm going to put a million up with Jake. We're going to make it two. Hey, Dana White, you say you got a million. You the CEO of UFC, man. You got more than a million. Put up two. Put up two million and we'll match you. Two million. Come on, Dana, what you waiting on? I have something for you. Go for, for it. you, Ben. Yeah. If you're confident you're gonna beat me, if you win, I'll double your purse. Okay. I will pay you double your purse. Okay. If you lose, you have to pay all of your purse to a charity of my choice. I'll consider. 
So you're not confident in yourself? In well, your I told ability. you, if you're really good, I have no illusions that I'm a great boxer. I don't think that, okay? But I don't think you are either. For a decade, and they could punch me, they could kick me, they could knee me, they could elbow me, they could choke me. And now I'm fighting a YouTuber and all he can do is punch me. Like, this is easy compared to that. This isn't a gimmick. I won't lose, I can't lose. <laughs> ben is going to Sleepy Sleepy, just like Sleepy Nate, just like Sleepy Gib, and just like Sleepy Deji. From Heartland, Wisconsin, Funky Ben Askren! Stepping onto the scales, U.S. Olympian. Official weight, 191 pounds, 191 for Funky Ben Askren. He is the digital superstar. Please welcome Jake, the problem child, Paul. Live along with a great card of boxing and all the entertainment your heart could ever wish for on pay per view. Stepping onto the scales, Jake Paul, the problem child. One ninety one point five, one ninety one and a half to the undefeated digital superstar, the problem child, Jake Paul. Jake Paul, the problem child, versus Funky Ben. Tomorrow night live on pay-per-view for Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, Georgia. Our main event. And Ben, what did you take away one day away from your main event matchup against Jake Paul? What's going through your mind? What did you take away from the stare down? I thought, I thought Jake Paul's cheerleading squad was quite rude. We got legendary Michael Buffer up here, and these motherfuckers are interrupting him. That was terrible. Rude, guys. So what's your prediction for tomorrow night? How's it going down? Uh, seventh round TKO. Jake, we are a day away from your main event matchup against Ben Askren. I'm going to ask you the same thing. When you looked into his eyes, what did you see? Uh, I see a guy who's underestimating me. I see a guy who's taking this as a joke. I see a guy who said, I have to take a shit in the face off. Uh, this, is, this is the last 24 hours that we will all have to hear of Ben Askren. And uh, this, one, this one means a lot to me and this one's, this one's for Shadow. Well, you certainly are fighting with the heavy heart. Shadow being your bodyguard who passed away. And he mentioned, I believe you said that he predicted 228 of the first round. Are you sticking with that prediction that you're gonna finish off Ben Askren in that time? You know, we'll, we'll see, but uh, I, don't, I don't think he makes it out of two rounds. I mean, look at the guy. He's got a, he's got a beer belly, so he clearly didn't take training camp seriously. And uh, hey, look, we all did the talking, we did the entertainment shit, but now it's time to let the fist fly. Being out there fighting like a 1940s fighter with that old ass style. Yeah. <laughs> he got to change that style. Look, that's that, uh, oh, okay. that, that uh, Come on, old man. ass. Hey. Jake Paul being a lot more disciplined than I thought. Yeah, that's yeah, the style Jake. the fighters used to use in the 1930s. He about to change that shit up. Oh, there's a left hook on the top of the head by Paul. Oh, hey, shit, shot dude. to the body, body shot to them ribs. Bang, right to the motherfucking dude, head. He's a fucking bad boy, dude. He is. Jake, get out. I'm trying Jake's to tell you. A bad boy. You think I'm going to put two million dollars on the motherfucking goofball? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, Jake Paul sparred with former world champion Jean Pascal. Get my money, Bruce Jake. Get my money, Jake. His record now still undefeated. Three fights, three victories, three wins by knockout. He is the problem child, Jake Paul. I want to stop fucking with Jake, man. Jake a bad boy in that ring, man. A lot of people do a lot of talk, but on some real shit, he really is skilled. How's it going down? Uh, seventh round TKO.